Hey everyone, and welcome back for another review. Today we're going over the high grade Master Gundam and Funsaki. And for some of y'all, if you want this to be a little shorter review, it's a Gundam with a freaking unicorn. That is awesome. But for anybody else that would like a few more details about the kit, let's get into it. All right, we'll get started on the accessories here. And of course you see here, this is a pretty large sheet of stickers. But to be honest with you, these really aren't so bad. The worst ones are these gray ones here, I would say. And these are for the hooves on the Funsaki there. And the rest of these yellow ones you see, you see like on the wings on his backpack and everything there. And they actually lay on there pretty nicely. And we'll kind of go over the stickers more here in a bit. And then of course you have like the typical cameras and the eyes there as well. But pretty large, but overall the placement of them is not bad. And also, you get a little Master Asia here with his uh, cloth there. And this actually comes attached to this one here and all you simply have to do is just cut these apart. And that gives you this one to use for your Master Gundam here. And he only comes with one holding hand and that is on him right now holding onto the reins of the unicorn. But yeah, you use that with him. And of course, this being mostly a hand-to-hand -hand combat sort of Gundam, you do get your array of unique style of hands for them. They're all simple open hands, but for different uh, poses and everything. So you got plenty of these. You got four here. Of course, the holding hands on them. Two hands, one for each side of the uh, darkness finger. It's too, God, too many bad jokes come to mind on that. But anyways. And then you have another uh, massive uh, darkness finger here. And then you also get his uh, cloak here as well, which this is a course of parts formation, I guess you call it, but overall it's pretty simple and we'll do that real quick. And now actually while I've got him off of the uh, Funsaki here, I'll show you. This is a simple peg that holds him on there and just if you don't have him posed on top of Funsaki, you can simply There we go. So much for simply get that off. But this slides right off here and you can fold that peg in like so. And then you simply pop this back on there. But that's if you're gonna be posing Funsaki and the Master Gundam separately. Now it doesn't have much for posing. Get that out of the way. But overall, I mean, it's pretty neat looking. It's pretty much just the basic pose that you'll be able to keep it in. The stand basically pegs up in the bottom of them there. And the legs don't really move in the back. You have a little bit of movement right here in the lower calf, but that is pretty much it when it comes to that. There's no movement. They just kind of straight peg in there. So those are always kind of up in the reared up position. Like that's why you're only able to pose it in a certain way. Now the arms here, or the front legs, I really broke his leg. I have to put him down. But it's all fairly simple. You got a little bit of movement there. None in the hooves. That can kind of rotate in and out there. Same for both legs. And then you have the head here, which is on a ball joint down there, and a little bit of movement there. It doesn't really do much, but it's just a fact that it comes with it. It looks awesome when you have the Master Gundam on it. But I will say, if you're one that's going to paint this and do everything, you're going to have your work cut out of you on seam lines with the. Funsaki here. You got all down the leg right through here, down the calf through here. There's also seam line around through that section. Same with the back legs all down through and all through the body here and the neck as well. The head isn't too terrible. It's covered up mostly by this red piece but it itself has a seam line. And then of course right through here on the snout you see with the head. So seam lines you got your work cut out here the master gundam itself not so bad on that at all but we'll stick that back in there and put into the side back to the cloak here now when it comes to the backpack this is just this regular wing set here but what you'll do is you'll get this turned around here and these simply just pop off just a peg into a poly cap for each of these there we go and you'll want to make sure that these two poly caps in the backpack are turned straight towards the back. So we'll kind of get him straightened up here. And this actually is kind of sandwiches around him for the most part. We'll 
pop these off. I think that's the right one. And that whole part right there sections off. So in all, it's about three, four parts. So we'll take this and you see the two pegs here towards the top. These will insert into the backpack here and those two larger pegs will slide underneath his arms. So you'll just kind of position that arm down in there, kind of tuck it in out of the way. And you'll take the front half, like so. And then we'll also take this little blue piece which kind of helps hold everything together and snaps in on the end here. And then you can also, then this one in the end, and this simply slides on like that. Now there is also a way to pose it where this is kind of opened up and we'll pop that off and you'll take this piece off right here. But nice of them, they actually have a little spot for you to store this in and you can slide it right in there so you don't have to worry about keeping that anywhere or losing it. Now for this, you'll kind of go and get his hand out there like so. And you have this little ball joint peg deal that'll fit into the shoulder here and then you can simply just pop that on to there and then you kind of got that bit of an open cloak right there this hand sticking out with the darkness finger and I think we're about ready to get over the articulation now as for articulation we'll pull his backpack off first and we'll go over it and kind of get it out of the way and you can see it simply pegs in there like so just a couple of pegs there to the back too bad it's, you know, kind of a unique peg system. You can't add any other backpacks or something to this, but anyways. Now for the backpack, you do have the wings here. They'll move in and out. The wing itself will move up and down. And then from the backpack, it will also move up and down. You also get some rotation here at the end of the arm there for the wing. And that's pretty much all the articulation on this. They don't go all the way out. Oops. They won't go all the way out like so. They only move in, but that's not too bad. Now for the Master Gundam himself, start from the head down as part of the course. You got the head down there. Up, not much there, not too bad on the down. Side to side. That's as far as it'll go before he starts hitting the collars there. Now on the head, he does have a pretty decent seam line running right across the top right through here. Which that shouldn't really be too hard to mask, or not mask, but to get rid of. And then of course here on the shoulders you also have the typical seam line for a high grade that you expect. Still pretty simple to get rid of. Now for the shoulders, polycap will swing forward. And of course arm up right there. Eh, just about 9 degrees, that's about all you get up there. You do of course get typical full rotation. You got rotation up here at the upper bicep. A double bend at the elbow there. Not too bad, just about all the way up to the shoulder armor. That's pretty good. And of course, typical ball and socket there for the hands. And you do have a bit of a seam line. Probably can't see it too well on the camera here. Running right down through here on the forearm as well. Which that one should be, if I remember correctly how it's all went together, it should actually be pretty easy to remove that seam line. Now, for the waist, you don't get much. There's like no forward hardly just a little bit of a wiggle there side to side about the same just a little bit of a wiggle and now for the front skirt armor here these move well they can move independently if you snip them but they'll do the typical up and down skirt armor on the side up and down there's no forward and back so that's all you get there back skirt armor is stationary doesn't move at all and for the legs here Let's see about out to the side. Eh, that actually doesn't impede as much as I thought it would, that side skirt. Not full splits, but not too bad. Then all the way out to the front, with that skirt up a little bit more. You get just uh, about 90 degrees up front. And of course, yeah, not very much in the back with that skirt armor there. You get upper rotation here at the thigh. And then, oh, and a decent double joint there at the knee. Can't complain about that at all. Now the articulation on this so far is it's kind of limited here and there. But these ankles though are I think might be a saving grace. Because if you can see here how much they can shift from side to side just alone doing that. And then of course just the regular 
but shifting those aside and you can get pretty good there so you can dodge all the armor there and get that to wherever you need it so good side to side the back that's pretty good doesn't have a toe bend but the foot moves back far enough that you pretty much get a toe bend and the foot all the way to the front that's pretty good there and the spike here on the top of the foot moves up out of the way so when you bring that foot all the way up it kind of gives you that little extra room so the articulation it's limited in certain aspects the ankles on this thing are amazing love the articulation on that but let's get this thing in some poses see what it's capable of and i'll give you my final thoughts on this guy well as for my final thoughts on it i mean you heard the intro it comes with a freaking unicorn but the kit itself i mean the master gundam his articulation is a bit limited the ms suit itself the stickers aren't bad on it most of them are on the uh cloak really and of course there are some on the uh wings in the backpack of this but the way they sit on there they sit on there pretty nicely so those yellow stickers are on a raised piece there so they go on really smooth if you clear coat after that they're not going to go anywhere if you don't paint they work out just fine it's very minimal in the seam lines when it comes to the master gundam itself except for you know of course funo the can't even speak right now funasaki it's it's loaded with seam lines and really coming mentioning that the funasaki is basically just a really pretty base uh action base for this kit so i mean that's really all it is we can't pose it really or anything like that except for the pose it comes in but be honest it's the best damn looking action base i've ever seen now for articulation Yes, it is limited in certain aspects, but you can still get them in pretty, some pretty cool poses, especially with the different hands and everything it comes with. Now, the hands, the way they are, it's going to be fun painting those if you do that, because they're all just one piece. So you'll have to do a little bit of, probably a little bit of hand painting on that, but not terrible. But overall, I, I enjoyed building this kit. It was fun, a bit different, of course, with having the horse and everything. And I recommend, I mean, I think I just seen it the other day for $25 on Galactic Toys' website. So it's not overly expensive, and it's just a fun kit to play with. I mean, I'm going to keep it posed up on the shelf with, on on the Vunsaki. I swear, you'd think by this time in the review I'd be able to say the name no problem. But anyways, now this is a kit I highly recommend. It's different, it's fun. I mean, you can't go wrong with it. But guys, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Y'all take it easy, and I'll talk to y'all later.